and we're we're supposed to close on February 8th. We are ready to close, but the title company that they picked, which is I would never recommend for a wholesale title company, we had a sign and we had a sign an addendum that the seller knew that not only were they is an assignment that I was making money and then you know we had we all had to sign another agreement like a addendum which I was fine with but most people would that would blow the deal but it worked out fine we're actually closing on Friday because of the title company they couldn't get their shit together and um I'll make what title company was it what's that what title company was it Banker's title. Mm. Um, yeah, Banker's title. Yeah, they're just not. A ho- I asked them if they ever used them before. They said yes. And I said, listen, it looks like you're out of state. I got a couple other title companies you should try to look into first for wholesales. So anyway, it worked Is out. Is that deal still going to close? It's closing on Friday. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Um, we have a question. So, uh, what programs do you guys recommend for finding leads? I use deal automator, deal automator, which that's, uh, that's like prop stream. I'm pretty sure. Um, I had access to prop stream a few years ago, but didn't really get involved with it back then. Like I am now. Um, Carson is, is deal automator, the system you have. I don't know if he's still listening. Is that yeah? <clears throat> that's what I've got. That's through uh, uh, that's Cody Sperberg stuff. Gotcha. So it is the same, it's like the same thing as PropStream, but we use PropStream. Yeah, PropStream's got way better data. Like, at, like, like I would drop, I would drop uh, Cody stuff and get PropStream. Honestly, it has way more data. The stuff that it, it, I was so limited to only a few different searches, there's so much more stuff on PropStream, in my opinion. Yeah, from being you know, able to have, true. and it's the same price, right. Like a hundred bucks. Uh, I think it's like seventy bucks a month or something like that. I believe. Okay, so it's and a little bit cheaper. Yeah, but I mean, you get so much more for twenty bucks more. Yeah. Do you know how many leads you could pull a month on it? Uh, what was it? Something like what, ten thousand a month or something? I might be wrong, okay. but it was something like ten thousand. Yeah, I think ten thousand. Yeah, which that's the same as PropStream, but I would just use PropStream. Oh, oh, that's what I was talking about. Oh, that I don't know. I'm sorry. I was I'll talk about PropStream. Yeah, yeah, maybe Scott knows. But anyways, PropStream, you can pull 10,000 a month. Um, That's what we all use to find leads. Are you cold calling? Are you texting? Uh, What are you doing with with those leads, Scott? Mailers. Um, Yeah, I would use I would use PropStream um instead of deal automator they have a way bigger i was looking at, at carson's system when he was at my office and they have a way bigger um that text call way bigger list a way bigger selection of lists that you can pull so different you know just different variations of lists more targeted lists um and then i would i would use list source if you can't find a list on prop stream but prop stream is 100 bucks a month and you can pull 10,000 leads a month um and you can get really specific with them so that's what we use for all of our list pulling. Um, but we do a ton of other stuff, you know, to get deals outside of, outside of just, just, uh, um, you know, those programs. But if you're going to be doing mailers, texting or calling, that's what we use. And then we use batch skip tracing to skip trace those properties. So uh, I would use batch as well. We've had a lot of people um, throw other skip tracing companies by us. And we've used other skip tracing companies and batch is just the best in my opinion. And like all the big wholesalers in Phoenix, they all use batch. Um, and you know, they're relatively, yeah. So everyone uses batch. Um, if you need, if depending on what you pay for your, your leads in batch right now, I can get them for 16 cents skip traced. So most, you know, most of the people that I'm talking to are paying at least 17. So if you need them for 16, 14, really, uh, I'd be curious to know how you're getting it for 14, but um, stick with it then. So in, that's perfect. Hey, hey, Scott, I got a suggestion. Um, is this the order that you do it? You mail first, then you text and call? Or do you, um, because what I would do is I would call and text first and then keep, you know, because you're going to talk to some people. Some people are going to tell you to F off. 
or they might respond by text. And then, and then once I, once I text and call them and then my list to mail them will be a lot less and you might save a few bucks that way. It's you can skip any agree. mailers that get returned. I gotcha. Yeah. So that, that's kind of, let's say you have, you know, 500 to um, names and numbers or a thousand, let's say a thousand, you call them and text them. And then you might have about, you know, 800. That, so you're, you're going to save a few bucks, you know, so that that's kind of just a suggestion. You might save some money. I know a lot of people that do that. They kind of do it through a funnel and they might call first, text second, and then do it that way. So, yeah, you might even realize too, that you get enough deals with just cold calling that you don't even need to send on mailers and you can save money that way. I mean, that's kind of the, the boat that me and Mike are in. Like we're, we have so many leads and deals are following up with cold calling that we, you know, we're texting for sure. We haven't quite hit mailers yet, but it's, it's definitely something that's worth adding if you're at that point, just depending where you're at. But um, new year, 15 basket tracing, 15 cents to skip. Yeah. I use that code for 15 cents. Um, who, uh, who are you using for title? We use a title company called dream title company in grand blank. Um, but if you're on the Detroit area, Todd uses, do you still use Detroit title and escrow? Yeah. Detroit title and escrow. I use speedy title. Um, those are my two main, and then you got dream title and there's another title company. I got a good contact at title connect. Um, they're very, um, wholesaler friendly. Also number one is Detroit title, then speedy. And then I know you guys like dream title. You got a good relationship with them. And the key to the title company, not only if they're wholesaler friendly, but they got to be two things for me. One, I don't want them to show anybody what I'm making. Like, the, well, the, 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 the buyer is going to know what you're making, but the seller shouldn't know what's going on. Two, and, and I also, most of my buyers just e-sign the closing docs. Like Banker's Title they wouldn't let my guy e-sign at all. It was weird. Never heard of that. But anyways. You mean uh, like, you mean DocuSign versus? Yeah, like yeah. All my other title companies, because buyers, there's nothing to notarize. So they should be able to email them the docs to e-sign. They used to not be able to e-sign it, but they would let them print them, sign them, and send them back and then overnight them. But now you could just e-sign them. And that's how all my buyers are doing it now. They don't even go to the title companies. Do you do that with Dream? No, Dream doesn't do e-signing. They uh, yeah, they make them print it out or you know something like that, or they're overnight it to them. Usually, they just have them print it out and sign them. Yeah, but you might want to talk. Thing. You might want to talk to Title Connect because it's so much easier and convenient, you know, for your buyers. And you don't want them to get crossed up with the seller being there and things like that. And then secondly, I don't want to go to my closings at all. And, um, and so I know the people that are closing them, they know how to handle pretty much any situation. If anything crazy gets going on, they'll call me and we'll figure it out. So, um, you know, so that's why I do it. I used to get my money wired to me. Um, now I just have them overnight a check to me. It doesn't cost me anything. I save 30 bucks and instead of wiring it, they just overnight the check to me. So. That's oh, really? It. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Michigan investment title, Scott. Yep. I know them They're I used them a couple of times. Um, I know they've had all these title companies have turnovers and, and people are leaving and things like that. So a couple of my people that were there left. And they're, they might be fine now, but I haven't used them in a while, but I know they're another good title company for wholesalers. A lot of, um, a lot of wholesalers use them. They're, they're good. Yeah, I just locked up a deal today with uh, the seller wants to use Michigan investment title. So that'll be my first deal with them. But title company, it's important to have a good one for sure. Like, like Todd said, to have one that's familiar with wholesaling, the first couple of ones I use, um were not like i had to train them to be familiar with wholesaling and they would just mess up deals they would add in random paperwork to sh show the seller how much i was making at closing without telling me so getting one that's already like one of the ones we just mentioned like dream i trust them completely 
I, I never go to closings, buyers and sellers just show up. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, I won't even tell, I'll forget to tell the seller that my partner's signing. And so they'll expect me to be there, but dream just handles it all. They don't, you know, they don't, when they're showing the buyer, the buyer's statement, even if they're in the same room as the seller, they just say, here's your buyer's statement. This is what you had to bring today and let them look it over. They don't read out, you know, line by line. I had a title company do that, go through every single line. And I was sitting there waiting. I was like, they're going to say it. And they said the assignment fee in front of the, in front of the seller who I like built a really good relationship with. And, and they were like, and Carson's making $4,000 um, off this deal. And the seller was like in their own world. They were like in the, in the, luckily like in the corner seat, like texting and they were, they were going crazy. I don't even know. I don't, they, they were just kind of a crazy person, but I was sitting there and me and the buyer, like we glanced at each other and the buyer texted me like a bunch of like laughy emojis, like right after. And we were texting as she was signing documents about this in front of the seller. Cause she, the title company just mentioned it in front of her. So I would never, I would never have them in the same room ever. They should that most, my title companies wouldn't do that. Never. Yeah. It just depends. You know, if I, if I'm there, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll have in the same room sometime, but usually they split it up. And usually somebody shows up at a different time and they'll just go ahead and bang that person. Whoever shows up first, they'll have go sign. And then the buyer will come in and sign after. But um, yeah, we stopped going to closings a while ago. It's been, it's been good for sure. It's honestly, it's, it's not uncomfortable when you're there signing, but it's like, you're just waiting for something to happen. So it's, yep. you know, and I'll have, I'll have the title company call me during closings and say, Hey, your seller was wondering about this, but they usually just handle everything. And then I get my check after. So that's, that's what I would do. Definitely. Hey, yeah, um, Robert, go to your first couple. Robert Churko title, not my favorite but you might have a good contact there, connection, you know, so it's whoever you like working with, you know. Yeah, you'll kind of get, once you start doing deals with title companies and just switching around, you'll understand the stuff to look for that's good and what's not. And then you'll be able to pick one to work with full time. You really want to keep all your files in one at one. If you can, usually I'll have like eight in a month that are at dream and then one or two that are at different title companies for different reasons. Sometimes you can't help it. Yeah. But speedy title company is I always have them in my back pocket because they can do it. They can turn on a file in a day and get it closed. Um, hence the name speedy title, which dream does that for us now. But, you know, if you guys need something done really quickly, definitely go with them. Yep. Yep. Cool. Cool. Any, um, anybody have any other questions? Any wins? Hey, yeah, I just joined the, the yep. Facebook group that you guys uh, shared the link for. Thank you. Um, I think I did. I've I reached out to one of you guys with, through text asking if one of you guys can, like, I don't know, kind of like help me understand like how the wholesaling and everything works. Um, I was just wondering if, you know, if I can have like a one on one conversation with one of you guys and you guys can explain me that. Well, what, what is it? I mean, I'll answer what I can right now because I'm sure other people have the same question too. Um, and then Honestly, we're, we're, I mean, the question, I'm, I don't really know what to ask because uh, like, I just want to get into, let's say I, I want to do wholesaling. Like, how do I proceed? Like, I, I know what it is exactly, you know, like, you know, it's like the, the contract that you make a contract, you find a seller and, you know, you go from there. But like, is there like, how do I start and how do I, you know, get my feet into yeah. it? So we, we've done, um, Todd, put, put a link to your YouTube in the, in the channel, Todd, or yeah. in the chat. But we've done a whole like series in January of how to get your first wholesale deal. We had a whole entire, um, like usually these Zoom calls are more structured. Recently, we've been doing a lot of questions and answers, just random, just, just talking about, you know, wholesaling mm -hmm. in general. But go to that YouTube page and uh, we have a video of how to get your first wholesale deal. And then we have a whole two weeks on acquisitions, how to, find deals and how to talk to sellers and get them to sign the contract. And then a whole entire week on, or a whole entire video on dispositions, how to sell your deal. Um, and that'll tell you, like, you won't need anything else after those three videos. You know, obviously you can always get better, but those will give you what you need to get started. Um, and especially so, that week on dispositions was really good. So you guys also like show me like, because I did watch the videos too. Like I said, I, I mean, I don't have a problem watching those videos again. Um, like you guys will show how to like where to find the contract papers and how to like you know reach out to like step by step kind of thing or well you're gonna have to we're not 
you're gonna have to maybe squat up with someone in your market. Where are you? Where do you? Flint. I'm in. Uh, I'm in Flint, Michigan. Yeah. You're in Flint, Michigan. You might. I mean, Mike and Carson are in the office all the time. Come on down. Come on down. Where are you guys located? Office. Let me let me stop you right here, Todd. Let me stop you right here. If you're serious and in the Genesee County or Flint area, if you're real real serious about wholesaling, I better see you in this office. Yep, guys. Carson and I are here every single day, you know, and I mean, there's really, I don't, there's no better way. And I mean, the door is wide open. You know what I'm saying? You can literally come in here. We'll put you on a dialer and we'll get you going. You know, you can immediately start calling sellers. Um, like, so, I don't even mind, like, like uh, shadowing you guys and seeing, you know, what you guys well, actually come to the do. office. That's come actually, to the office. You got to tell you. Yeah, you got to give them some value. And you know we're not we're not gonna teach you the whole ball game and for free. I mean we're not gonna ask for any money. But if you you know you squat up with them, they'll they'll show you the ropes. They'll give you some list of call. You might make a thousand dollars, and eventually you might make fifty percent. You know, so you got to show that you're willing to make it. You wouldn't know how many people I talk to every day that are interested. And they show up once and I never hear from them again. So it's not for everybody. And you got to show us you're serious. Us, we're, you know, we don't want to waste our time. And I'm not saying that's you, but you should be contacting them now. What's your address? Where are you at? What time are you going to be there tomorrow? You know, and show up because. You know, and we, I mean, like, like Mike was saying, if you're going to come into the office, we're just going to tell you to cold call. And we'll, we'll help you get the list, help you get the dialer. That is going to be your first step to get your first deal. That's what I tell everybody to do. Um, and if you're not willing to do that, like you're just not, it's going to be tough to be successful in the business. So we're more than help, happy to help you do that and coach you every single step along the way. But you have to take that in first initial step um, because sitting in here and, and shadowing us really won't be that beneficial. And, and if you were just sitting here and just listening, because you won't know what we're talking about, the deals, all that kind of stuff. But if you're in here and cold calling and then you can ask us, hey, what should I have said? Or you put the seller on speakerphone or if the seller has a question, hey, talk to my partner, Carson. Or if you need to know how much, if you want me to buy one of your deals or you say, hey, what should I lock this up for? I can tell you that's invaluable. Um, and that's how I got started. I did the exact same thing with Todd in his office at White Lake that he's at right now. So if you're in the Detroit White Lake area, go to Todd's office and learn from him. He does like the boiler room, stuff like that. But um hit us up if you're serious about it come out this week tomorrow or friday uh we're usually here saturdays too so um, um if, what if, like are you guys there monday through friday or monday through saturday or how, how how are you guys monday through saturday friday. anytime all right and uh, i think i already have your number Carson. i remember i came to the meeting like a month ago but i got busy with school and with work so but, yeah man just call uh, me you're, you're just... two three zero four six seven five correct yes all right great Thank you. Correct. Yep. Yes, sir. I'll see add you your number to Michael. Yeah, man. Be happy to see you. Carson, I, I talk about this all the time, but the other Carson who's on this call, he just found out about wholesaling like a month and a half ago. And he's already done three deals from wholesaling. He came into my office for two weeks and cold called. We put him on a dialer and he just hustled. Like he didn't he didn't miss a beat. He wasn't sitting there talking. Like he just cold called and I mean, he didn't even like know like what to say, how to say it, but he, I mean, he did great cold call, got three deals under contract in the first two weeks. So that's all it really takes. Um, but like I said, if you're out in Todd's area, do that with him for sure. And, you know, Todd will, last time I was at White Lake with Todd and a bunch of other people, he was walking around, like giving people advice or showing them flyers and stuff. So that's definitely what I would recommend doing. Um, but we had another question that was what other types of, uh, what other, what other stuff do you do for lead gen or Robert? So um, I do everything. Like my number one thing is squatting up with other people. I buy deals from wholesalers. Uh, realtors send me a ton of deals. I'm closing on two flips from realtors in the next like two weeks. And then a bunch of wholesales from realtors. Um, after that, you know, I do cold calling, texting. Mike does a ton of cold calling and texting. Uh, bandit signs. Uh, we have a whole, uh, back to the January videos we did, the Zoom meetings, we have a recorded one on acquisitions, like how to get your first wholesale deal. 
but we talk about three different marketing strategies that, you know, it, the way you get your second wholesale deal and your 10th wholesale deal is the same as the way you get your first. So you can go back and watch those if you want. But um, bandit signs, it, it also depends what market you're in um, and where you're marketing to. You know, bandit signs don't work everywhere. PPC sometimes isn't good for certain areas as much as it is for other areas. Um, it just depends. But, you know, mainly cold calling. You know, we're if, if when me, Todd, and Mike are in a room together, there's never, like, one of us is always on the phone. It's usually two, if not three of us. But we're always talking to sellers because whatever – lead gen you end up doing you're going to end up on the phone with the seller somehow so we just go directly to that and whenever we get a lead that comes in we just call that person and get on the phone with them so i hope that answers your question um who do you guys use for texting currently freedom uh freedom soft which is a crm but mike big update carson not sure if you're aware um because i'm in the same boat as carson but freedom soft you are now limited to sending 150 texts a day off of a single phone number. So to, so the only workaround is you have to order multiple phone numbers. Well, each phone number is like $4 a month. So, and then, you know, you have to order 10 phone numbers just to send a thousand, you know, or eight, whatever the math is, just to send a thousand a day, you know? And you're already paying FreedomSoft 200 bucks a month, so. Anyways, this is a big update through Freedom Soft Cars. I wasn't sure if you're aware of that because I've been shopping around trying to find other uh, uh, texting services out there. I hear, some good, I hear some good things about Lead Sherpa, but yeah, Lead Sherpa. It's also you know you'll spend five hundred dollars a month. You know, really? yeah. So from my, say Batch. I would yeah. say use Batch. Like I've used Batch. That's where I started texting. I only switched to Freedom Soft because that's what I started using as a CRM. But especially if you use Podio as your CRM, um, if you're only going to be sending 150 texts a day, I would use FreedomSoft. But Batch and Scott was saying Batch is only a dollar more per number. Right. Um, so I would use Batch. Uh, there's like I don't I don't know if it's called Batch Texting or whatever. Just go on Batch. Yeah, just go on Batch and use their texting service. Um, is what I would use. And then you can pull lists from Batch as well and skip trace them through Batch. And then also text through Batch. So. That's what I would recommend if you're looking to start somewhere, unless you only want to do 150, maybe 300 texts a day. Yeah. Batch leaves the aisle. Yeah, he, he posted the uh, mm. link to where you text with Batch. So, Yeah, that's what I would recommend because I've been shopping around, looking at all the other ones. There's others out there, and Batch seems to be the best best value for it, for what you pay for. So, mm -hmm. um, Quick question, guys. On the YouTube, they're like, um, do I start from the oldest, like the oldest video, which is December 16th, 2020? Like the whole thing? Um, I just watch all of them. You can. Um, if, you know, I would honestly, I would watch all of them because we're just in the first, you know, December 16th, 21st, or 22nd, and then uh, 29th, which we're just talking about. Um, we're just talking about deals we've done, all that kind of stuff. But they were actually, they were phenomenal meetups. So I would listen to those to learn just some tips and tricks. The beginning of January is when we start talking about how to find your first wholesale deal, all that kind of stuff. But I will listen to all of them. It's going to be, I mean, a total of six hours between the, you know, those two months. So I would start, I would just start with the first one if I were you. All right. Thanks. And you could go to YouTube, um, Mark Maupin. Um, him and I done many YouTube videos and um, I did a weekend class on wholesaling. You could look for that. He has a bunch of them on there. And just look at the topics and find out what might sound good. We did a bunch of them. And I just put that in the notes in the chat. Yeah, there's so much free content out there. It's crazy. Yeah, you, you could get consumed with it. The best thing, Mo, is get into the office. That'll be the best video, live video you could watch. Exactly. That's the thing, because there's so many videos outside, like out there. And I'm just like, I don't want to overwhelm myself with, you know, yeah. like, like you asked about contracts and things like that. Don't even worry about that. How can you talk, learn how to talk to people and how to get con first, you got to learn how to talk to them and what to say. And if you're with Mike and Carson or myself, you know, you get someone that might be interested. You say, you know what, my, you know, my partner just walked in. He's, very familiar with that area 
hang on one second. Let me, he, um, let me have you talk to Carson or Michael or whatever. Boom. They'll, they, you'll watch them go to work on the lead and they'll make the lead and boom, you'll go run an appointment with them. And then before you know it, you're making the lead. Before you know it, you're running the appointment. So everyone's speed is different. You know, Carson, it didn't take you long to start running leads. And, um, but you gotta, you gotta go through those growing pains, right? You go to, you know, you go to a lead and they look at Carson cause he looks like he's 12 years old. And now he still looks like he's 12 years old, but he walks in there with confidence. I own 11, 12, 13, 14 rentals. You know, I just started this a year and a half ago. Now he's becoming their friend and, and they're looking up to him. It's like, man, I wish my son was like you and things like that. So, and you show confidence. They trust him a hundred percent. So, yeah, so that, that's why you just got to ride someone else's shirt tails until you could do it for a minute, you know? Yeah. There's no easy way around it. It's the first, like, I didn't really enjoy my first, year of wholesaling it was ex super exciting to get my first deal and my you know my second couple of deals and i'm not saying you won't i you know but personally it was tough for me because i just some of the deals were kind of crazy and i was learning so much but now it's like I'm, I'm at the point where it's a ton of fun like i love wholesaling now i mean and me and mike have a ton of fun in here like we just do stupid stuff and just kind of mess around as we're as we're working so um it's always fun it's always fun at this point, but to start out because you don't, you don't know what you don't know and you don't know what you're going to need to know until you're doing it. But if you're in here and my phone, my phone's always on, Mike's is always on. So at, at any point during the process from when you first meet the seller to when the closing table, you can call either one of us, like anytime nine to nine, even later, um, you know, we'll be able to help you answer a question. So the worst thing that can happen is hold on one second. Let me, let me ask my partner and he'll be able to answer it for you if there's any questions. So you just can't lose. I mean, if you're putting in the work, you just can't lose. And I think now is a good time to get into wholesaling, like a great time to get into wholesaling. Um, there's a ton of people getting into wholesaling. I think TikTok really blew wholesaling up. Like a lot of people that I've just met, even at the gym or like I talked to a bank teller, they know TikTok from wholesaling or they know wholesaling from TikTok. And it's going to become a big thing so get your, get your feet wet now and start understanding what you're doing because you're going to have a lot of people, you're going to need to be the expert, whether it's you buying deals from new wholesalers or you buying deals from people who are messed around from wholesalers that didn't close on their house. And that's going to become a big thing. So I would say, you know, and the market's crazy hot right now. I mean, everything we have is selling. Um, so I think now is the best time to get into it for sure. I'm, I'm wanting to hire myself. I want to hire acquisition guys because um, I want to get ready for all these foreclosures that just got extended today till the end of June or beginning of June. Do you know Todd or Mike when it was extended to, I, I saw know. they were extended, but I don't, it was some sometime in June, but yeah. once these foreclosures are no longer extended, we're going to have that many more properties on the market for and not even on the market, but just going into foreclosure that many more people that they'll go, Oh yeah we're going to lose our house now because they didn't extend the foreclosure moratorium. This guy named Mike Heater texted me two months ago and he texted me a month ago and a week ago and he texted me again today. Like, let me reach out to him and say that we want to sell. Yeah. So it's a great time for sure to get into it. Um, another question, um, probably the most important question, like how is you guys schedule? Do you guys do anything else on the side? Like do you guys work or is this your full-time thing? Because I have, uh, I'm currently in, still in school and I work full-time. So I mean, like, how do you think, do you think I can balance this or I get done with, I get, I finish school next month. So I'll be done with, I'll graduate next month. So what are you getting your degree in? Uh, business. Business. Gotcha. So after that, what will you be doing as far as work? Like how much will you be working? Uh, right now I'm just like, uh, I pretty much manage like some bubble tea stores and uh, I don't really have to be there. I just do everything over the phone mainly. And, you know, sometimes I have to go there do inventory, pay the employees, so it's not like I have to be there every day. So I have days off yeah. pretty much. But what are you going to do with your degree? I'm sorry. What you Honestly, I, at this point, I don't know. I feel like um, I was almost done with the degree. So I'm like, why not finish it? It's not like 
Yeah. I can lose anything. Hey, it's to... not. It's never too late to drop out, man. You still have a month left. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> oh, that that'd be stupid, though. Honestly, I don't know. I've wasted like so many, so much time and money. Just I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I I don't want to. I don't really want to work for anyone. So I don't know. Perhaps start my own business, or you know, that's the long term thing. But yeah, so it doesn't have to be long term. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you work, you go to, it all depends on you, you know, how much do you want to put into it, you know, depending on your schedule. I mean, if you're working and going to school and you only have time at eight o'clock till six in the morning, I would say you're not going to be able to wholesale right now. Yeah, no, 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 that's not, my schedule is not like that. I'm pretty okay. But if you have a few hours during the day, if you have Saturdays open, um, you know, whatever you have, and that's, that's you know you really want to learn this you'll make time or figure out time you time management will be very very important for you and you might there's you might be able to structure the business a different way you know you got mark um carson and michael that could run the appointments while you're in school if you can make the leads you know and you could squat up with them there's all kinds of different ways of doing it really you just got to be on the phone for two or three hours um, calling and texting and doing things like that. That's one way of doing it, driving for dollars and things like that. So squatting up with other people while you're, you know, because you, you know, you won't, when someone wants you to come out to the house and if you're in school, they could do it, you know, things like that. Yeah. I mean, we're here Saturdays too, but I mean, our schedule, we're here pretty much, I mean, nine to probably eight, every single day on average, Monday through Saturday. Um, Sometimes we, sometimes we change that, but there's so many people that, you know, I know people who make six figures wholesaling that work full-time jobs. So um, it means definitely possible. And there's people that have families um, that also work full-time jobs that also make six figures in wholesaling. So if they can do it, you can do it. It just depends how much you're willing to put into it. I mean, that's just that's just kind of the uh, the name of the game. But there's always a way around it. If you if you really want it bad enough, you'll figure out a way to get it. If it's if you don't have the time to cold call, you'll figure out a way to generate leads some other way. But it sounds like you will have the time to cold call in a month if you don't now. So I would just I would just go with that, man. But you know you don't have to put in a lot of starting out. You know you want to put in some solid hours to get used to it. But if I wanted to work, if I wanted to work one, if I wanted to work forty hours a month and make 10 grand a month, I could do that. If I wanted to at this point, like without a doubt, make six figures a year at 40 hours a month. So if I wanted to go get a job and still do this, I still could. So it's super, super possible. Um, is it time management or priority management? Um, I mean, I kind of I kind of consider it the same thing. Like, what are you prioritizing in your time? So yeah. You know, either way, just get, just, just figure out your priority. It really is priority management. So what are your priorities? Like, would you rather spend time with your girlfriend or would you rather go wholesale? Like, obviously you're going to want to go wholesale. So um, (laughs) (laughs) tell her you're busy and come to the office. But uh, seriously, I mean, it just, it just depends. I mean, if she's, if she understands, then, you know, if she's serious, she'll understand anyway, but wholesale too. So you can bring that 10,000 a month there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, have her, have her join the business. So no, girl, there's always a, uh, always time. No, uh, some girls, they're mad because you're not at home and then they're mad when you're broke. So you got to figure it out. You got to figure out, you got to, you know, choose your mad. <laughs> yep. Any other questions? Not as of now. Thank you for all the information. Yep. Yeah, for sure, man. I hope to see you in here this weekend, if not tomorrow. Yeah, feel free to reach out to us during the week. Um, If you need any help, you got any deals, you need help selling or getting under contract, any questions, anything like that, just, you know, reach out. Cool. Appreciate it, everyone. Thanks, guys. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. Hey, I'd like to thank you guys. This is my first time being in the meeting, so. Uh, Thanks, Glenn. Man. Hey, Todd, I met you a couple times, so I'm looking forward to uh, 
buckling down and jumping on his horse, man. Yeah, let's do it. You nice. probably meet a lot of, hey, Len, you probably meet a lot of people in your day to day, right? Yeah, man, I, I, I get a little busy, especially uh, with the snowfall. Everybody like the keys in their car, trying right. to warm it. Well, you, <laughs> you should talk to everyone you meet. I mean, you're on the, you're on the streets, um, working with investors, and you know, just let them know who, tell them who you are, and say, look, I'm, I'm getting into buying houses and investing and things like that. If you come across any, because an investor that doesn't wholesale they come across five or six houses and they only could buy one, they might tell you about another one. Or if you hear of anyone that's looking to sell, you know, refer them to me. I'll see if I can help them. If I can, I'll give you a, you know, if I, if I help them and, you know, I make money, I'll give you a $500 referral fee, things like that. Just try to just talk to people, wear a mask that says, your mask probably says your locksmith company. My mask says, um, TC sells cheap houses, you know, yeah. and it gets people talking. I, I definitely will do that because last time I saw you was at uh, the Thursday auction thing that's no longer happening and uh, right. fell off because I didn't know what to do. Now I'm like he said, the TikTok thing has been big on wholesaling. I didn't understand it like the guy Mo, but now I'm starting to get a, a, a understanding of it. So. I'm definitely gonna see if I can prioritize my time to come sit in that office and do some texting. Cause I was confused on the investor side and the wholesaling side. Right. But with this meeting, I can, you know, find a lot. Yeah, and I do some boiler rooms in White Lake. It's not really that far. Um, and anytime you have some time, I'm here. Like I was here all day today working, you know, and I got other people that come in and we work together, you know, they do their thing, I do my thing, we collaborate, help each other. I'm more than happy to do that. I just sent you a text message too. Okay, so awesome. Make sure you lock me in, because I'll drive to Flint too, because, uh, you know, and nothing's going on with wasting time. So might as well, Flint is an hour away, there's no problem. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right, man, appreciate you, thank you. Thank you. Locking you in now. All right. Have a go. All right, you too. What's up, Brooks? What up, what up? What up? That was good, man. That was, I'm motivated. Can't wait to come in tomorrow. We know it. All right, brother. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? All right, I'll shoot you a text in the morning. All right, cool. See you, man. Yeah. Peace out.